man always tries to capture the wonder of nature, often physically removing fauna and flora from its environment. But there is another way, one that lends itself to creativity. Even like when you're doing a painting, it starts with one brush stroke, and then you may have like 10,000 brush strokes, but it all comes together to form the one painting. Paint the background first. So you might start with like the furthest area, and then you sort of build up and come forward to the areas that are closer up, right? Neil Massey is a self-taught artist who began to paint professionally after his first exhibition in 1977. Then, Mr. Massey focused on nature scenes from 1980. You're never completely satisfied then with your last piece. You always keep trying to better that and whatnot. But, uh... He studied at Hillview College, focused to become a biologist, but a visit to Acerite sparked a change. It's after attending a seminar at Acerite Nature Centre that I, I was fascinated with the birds and the beauty of the flora and fauna that we have in Trinidad. Neil Massey believes that art can enlighten us so we can protect our environment. To um, uplift the awareness of the individuals who are looking at the paintings and the public in general so that they can appreciate what we have even more and realize that it's important to preserve these things. You know? Nature reflected in these paintings is a reflection on our environment. For us humans, we should ensure that at least these paintings don't reflect just what is ideal or what actually happens out there in our landscapes. Trinidad and Tobago has well over 400 species of birds, which is quite amazing compared to other parts of the world. But the biggest challenge is not finding the wildlife, it's trying to avoid the litter. It really disturbs me when you visit uh, any of our rivers or coastlines and beaches and so on, and you see litter all over the place. If you look closely, he often paints bits of litter into his paintings, just to make the point. You know, I would probably include it in a painting in just sort of some hidden way. I like can put it in a little, um, say, a Coca-Cola can or something like that, hidden in the bushes. Just a slight view of it, so that it's there, but you know, it's not obvious in the painting, but it's kind of highlights that man has been interacting here with nature and has left his mark. If you realize that everything around you is sacred, then naturally you realize that you need to protect and, and preserve it just as you would your own self, right? because it's part of you. For the Environment Report, I am Ian Wallace.